From how many wishy-washies does it take to become its school form to why there are no dark type gyms, I'll be answering another top 10 questions about Pokemon that's somewhat hard to answer. <laughs> hey everybody, I'm back. Oh wait, you don't know who I am, don't you? Well, <laughs> if anyone's been following my Instagram page, I'm... Oh, Craig, I forgot what I was going to say. Now, you know, I'm just, I'm not going to make this up. I'm making this up. Uh, I'm Craig, Craig the Piplup, and over there is my co-host, Longboy. Say hi, Longboy. <sighs> you call me again? This is Longboy. Longboy is going to be reading out the questions. Wait, we're doing another Craig's Corner? Yep, we're going to do another one. Really? Yep. I mean, we got a whole bunch of people asking us questions. Same 10? Same 10. All right. All right, I just, I thought we were going to do this next week. Nope. Yeah, so, uh, you just stay over there, and, uh, oh, yeah, so like I was saying, Longboy over there is going to be reading out the questions, and I will be saying the answers, but before I do say any of the answers, I always have one of my friends say their answers. Now, uh, wait a minute. If I remember, uh, oh sorry, uh, I forgot to tell you all about this, but uh, my friend Lucario accidentally twisted his ankles this morning, and I'm still trying to find the person who's going to uh, replace him. I mean, I did hire that person a couple of minutes ago, and they should be coming around the... Oh. Oh my. Привет, Craig. My name is Nikrozma, and I'll be today's replacement for Lucario. How do you know about that? Your friend Lucario told me while he was being hospitalized. Oh. So you ready? No, I'll give it a shot. How about gonna be? I don't know, they're, they're kinda hard questions. I don't care. I'm a psychic type. You look like a rock. I'm going to burn this guy to smithereens when I'm done with him. Excuse me? Ah, off the presses. Alright, first question. <clears throat> Why aren't there any dark type gyms? Oh, that is so simple. It's because... It's because they're typists. Typists? Yeah, yeah. Basically, they're people who mock other Pokemon because of their types. It's like, oh, look at me. I'm a little fairy type coming in here to the land of dragons. Oi, dragons, I'm going to moonblast your buttocks to another dimension. That's typist. The world is typist. The world sucks. I hate the world. That's why I like to be back in Ultra Megalopolis. Wow. I can't believe this is how we're going to start our episode, huh? Well, actually, let me tell you the reason why there are no dark type gyms. In fact, it kind of goes all the way back to its Japanese origin. You see, the Japanese word for dark is Aku, which means evil. So it would mean evil gym. However, the only evil type gym out there so far has only been one, and that's Giovanni, leader of Team Rocket and Rainbow Rocket. Wait, wait, hold on. Giovanni. Mm hmm. Giovanni, the leader of Team Rocket and Rainbow Rocket on the Rainbow Rocket, is also a gym leader. Yeah, a lot of people see Giovanni more as a Team Rocket leader than a gym leader. Oh, ah, you're not the only one, Necrozma. Ooh, I hope you're ready to answer this one, Craig. What is it? Why won't Nebby stay in the bag? What the heck is a Nebby? Right behind you. What, what is it? It's the purplish one. Oh, you mean the one that kind of looks like it's uh, cloudy-ish? Yeah, it's the one on the Pikachu mug. You mean something like this? Yeah, exactly like that. But... What is wrong about this little nebby thing? It won't go in the bag. Hmm. If it will not go into the bag, then it will go into the floor! No, 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 no! Too bad. I just threw it on the floor. Great. He didn't even vacuum today. Well... Although there's no actual reason why Nebby gets out of the bag, mostly because it just wants to be free, 
But I'm pretty sure this is kind of one of the main reasons. It's actually a quote from Lily herself. Look carefully at the word repel. So, what do you do when you don't want to be around Pokemon? Have a whole bunch of bags of repels. And do you know what repels do? That's right! Repels Pokemon. And since Nebby is a Pokemon, and you have a repel near a Pokemon, it would make sense that Nebby would flee from the bag. Necrozma, do not move. Why is Gardevoir in the amorphous group when it should be in the human form because of its human-like characteristics? Wait, what? Who wrote this one, anyway? Uh, Craig. Yeah, Necrozma? What does a Gardevoir look like? Well, how about you look for yourself over there? Everyone, please give out a warm welcome to our lovely camera woman, Gardevoir! Hello everyone. I'm happy to see you all. Oh, uh, Craig. Yeah, Necrozma? Why does she sound like that? Oh, it's a uh, texture speech. She can't talk, so this is kind of a... Uh... Her way of doing telepathy. Ah. Uh, that's weak. Hey! Hey, you can't say that, Necrozma. It's my disability you're picking on. Oh no, I hurt the feelings of Queen of Rule 34. What are you going to do about it? Necrozma, stop! What? I'm having fun. You do not want to talk about Rule 34 in front of Gardevoir. She does not like it. I'm not afraid to fight. Bring it on. Fight me, you Steven Universe villain wannabe. How dare you compare me to those low-life lesbian 80 rocks. Go back to Tumblr, Thought. The reason why Gardevoir is in the amorphous group rather than human-like is actually not its body, but rather its origin. You see, Gardevoir may be based on a guardian angel an amorphous spirit entity. According to the majority of its Pokedex data since its debut, it explains that Gardevoir will protect its trainer, even at the cost of its own life. What? I got tired. How many wishy-washies make up its school form? I take the kilogram of one wishy-washy. One kilogram of a solo wishy-washy is 0 0.3 kilogram. While the school form is 78.6, so I divided 78.6 by 0 0.3, and I got 262. Wait, division? Huh. You know, I did my multiplication. Just like how you did your 70.6 divided by 0 0.3, I did the multiplication. And what I got was 1,179, with a remaining 50. You know, to be honest, I actually don't know the answer, so... If you know the answers, let us know in the comments section down below. Please, we, we, we definitely need to know. This, this is a question we cannot actually answer ourselves. Can Pokemon bleed? To be honest, I don't know if a Pokemon can bleed. Any volunteers? <clears throat> Why yes! Yes, Pokemon can actually bleed. Besides being mentioned in Pokedex entries, blood has actually been seen in the anime. Don't believe me? Well, <laughs> and no one does. My dad vapes. Please send help. <clears throat> See, in Pokemon Ranger and the Kidnapped Riolu Part 1, in the Pokemon Diamond and Pearl series, Riolu blasts out of the back of the truck, and Riolu hurts his arm in the process. But you can see in the picture, there's a bleeding wound. So far, this is the only time a Pokemon is shown to bleed. Gruesome. <laughs> Is the Pokedex secretly lying to us? Why? The dot answer is a 100% YES! YES IT IS! A, a what? Okay, let me explain with this one. This is Macargo, the fire rock type snail Pokemon whose entire body is made up of magma. In its Pokedex entry in Sapphire, its body temperature is approximately 18,000 degrees Fahrenheit and water is vaporized on contact. 18,000 degrees, which is about the temperature of the sun. So, why? A fire snail whose entire body is made up of magma, which can evaporate water, be weak to it? 
Well, maybe it's um. I don't know actually. Why can't Kekleon change the red stripe on his stomach? Oh, I know that question. You do? Yeah. Allow me to tell you it in a form of a story. It all started in early March of 2001. Alright everybody, Generation 3 is upon us. So we need some new ideas to make some Pokemon. Anybody got any ideas? Um, I could go first. Alright. Okay, so I was thinking of Azrael. It's the baby version of Meryl since they're both really popular. Really? Are you going to spam this next generation with babies again? Um, are you saying that's a problem? Oh, is that a problem? Of course it is a problem! We don't want to spam the entire Pokedex with babies, you know. There are legendaries and other Pokemon out there that we could add instead of them. Alright, you two, break it up, break it up. Well, oh, the Zuril thing is kind of cute. I'm pretty sure that I should go along with Takamaru that we should not add any more baby Pokemon. Ah, why not? Please don't tell me that's another name of a baby Pokemon. I swear. You know, it uh, it sounds pretty cute and all, but I think I got a better Pokemon. I'm calling it Whalmer. It's a balloon, like beach ball, but it's actually a whale. That's actually the balloon beach ball. So it's pretty cute. Hmm. Hmm. That sounds like a pretty nice idea. Sugamori, you look a bit quiet over there. Huh? Huh? Would you care to show me what you drew? Uh, it's this one, sir. Um, what is that? This is a Kecleon. Kecleon? What can it do? It, it can change colors. And it can even go invisible. Hmm. Hmm. It's like an ability. Ability? Yes, I was thinking for maybe what if Pokemon had abilities? Go on. For example, Suzuki-san. Yes, what is the typing of Weezing? Poison. What are its weaknesses? Ground and Psychic. What happens if the Pokemon had Levity, which makes it immune to ground type moves? That means it would make it just a Psychic type? Exactly! What would happen if a Pokemon was able to summon weather? Um, so, like, what about stats? Stats? Oh, like how Pokemon can use Intimidate to lower their stats. Intimidate, huh? Sounds intimidating. No pun intended. Hmm, so we got Zuril, Wilmer, and Kecleon. I guess we could deal with these three Pokemon for now. Oh. And, uh, we could put abilities later in the third installments. Well, let's go get some lunch! This sounds really crazy, but here's what I found out. Kecleon has two types of skin cells. One type of skin cells that makes up Kecleon's entire body, besides the stomach, are made up of layers of skin that contain specialized cells, just like their real-life chameleon counterparts. They're called chromatophores. Each layer of chromatophores at each level are filled with sacs of different kinds of pigment, from melanophores, iridophores, xanthophores, and iridophores, from bottom to top. The red zigzag along Keklan's body is just normal melanin, just like your skin! Why does... Oh, oh wow. I'm gonna offend a lot of people on this. What is it? Why does Arceus, Arceus, Ar... Chaos, why does it have so many different pronunciations, and which one's the right one? Oh, I got a bad feeling about this. Hmm, well, I go by Arceus. What about you guys? Well, um, I go by Arceus, a Gardevoir. What do you think? Well, Necrozma, what do you think? I think how I would say Arceus' name is... Pathetic. What?! You've gotta make that on serious! No, no, no. Just, just hear me out. You better make it good. Craig. What is Arceus' theme? It's mostly just a bunch of drums. Craig, 
Craig, Craig. Have you heard my ultra team when I go into ultra necrozma? Necrozma? <sighs> I'd rather get kicked in the ball sack by a weaponized battle toaster than listening to your tracks. I'm gonna have to be honest. Necrozma? Where are you? Down here. What the? I may not be a fire type, but I sure do know how to give some sick fiery beats. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Music in my ear hole tummy. C come on. G g what? Where's the on switch to this? So far, we only have three pronunciations as of this date. Arceus, Arceus, and Arceus. And people will argue about the pronunciations. Don't lie. You have done it too, you know. Uh, sorry, uh, what, what are you saying? Well, in the real world, we can't agree on what God is either. He got names like Yahweh, Zeus, Odin, Allah, the flying spaghetti monster, you name it. Different interpretations of a higher power cause people to create different names for it. So in the end, I guess one pronunciation from another is correct in another way. Ooh! Oh, Craig, come over here! What is it? Someone actually wants us to say uh, their answers. Say their questions? Oh, sorry, sorry, I got a little bit of excited. Let's see, uh, the Triceratops asked. Can Pokemon die of old age? Uh, age? I don't know what the age is, but, uh, I do know death. But, uh, what is the age? Well, first of all, Necrozma, you're, you're kind of a legendary. A what? You're a legendary, Necrozma. You're... Basically immortal. Isn't death like a fleeting afterthought? Um... Well, uh... I don't always stay immortal because... I, I need to eat light. It's like... My source of energy. Without it, I'll just... Get all... Uh, stiffed up to the point where I can't even move anymore. Oh my! That, uh... That does not sound good. Not because it isn't. Well, thanks to the presence of Pokemon grave sites in the Kanto, Hoenn, and Kalch regions, we actually find an easier answer to this. Visitors from the Kanto and Hoenn graveyards will comment on the departed Pokemon's long life, implying that the Pokemon died of natural causes. There's also several references to aging Pokemon in the Pokedex. Ninetales, for instance, is said to live for a thousand years thanks to its supernatural energy in its tails, as words are its tails also change its color as it gets older. Also, Age and evolution aren't necessarily connected. Perhaps the best example of an elderly unevolved Pokemon in the anime was an elderly Trico seen in the Pokemon Advanced Generation episode, Trees a Crowd. A Trico that's completely elderly is seen, complete with wrinkles and a hunched back. So, when do you think Lucario will come back? Um, probably several weeks. I could tell him that you're doing fine. I'm doing fine. <sighs> <sighs> Sorry, I'm... I'm not getting a recommended amount of sleep. I'm in college. Oh, I know how that feels. You went to college? Ah. Ah, final question. Ah, oh, why do we always keep recording in the night? Okay, final question. If you break a, a mirror coat, would it be bad luck? Nah, that's just a superstition. Well, I mean, they're both mirrors, you kind of break them. Well, actually, you can't break a mirror coat. In fact, if you do hit a mirror coat, it kind of hit your back. Kind of like a giant U-turn. Isn't that right, Greg? Greg? Uh, Craig? Craig? Uh, Longboy? Uh, Gardevoir? 
Uh, this has been Craig's Corner. Uh, it's like 1.15 in the morning and uh, good goodbye, good night. Uh, well, uh, I, I did not expect this episode to end like this, but uh, I'm pretty sure the next Craig's Corner is going to feature Lucario, some other crazy characters, and uh, well... I'm I'm going back home. I'm going to turn the studio light off.